all final expense agents need to know their competition. There are so many opportunities in the final expense market to help a client get a better policy than what they currently have or to help them understand better what they have. And if you can be a master at understanding the competition and knowing what steps to take to be able to answer these questions and look at a policy to find out if it's the correct policy or the wrong, incorrect policy for your clients, you're going to gain trust and respect. So what we're going to look at are five of the major carriers that are off, that are in the final expense market today. Let's start with AARP. Everybody's heard of AARP, very big brand name recognition. Uh, some of the issues with AARP, they have two different types of insurance that they offer for final expense. The first is a policy that ends at age 80. It's a term policy and the premiums are going to go up every five years or so. So another one that we can take a look at is Colonial Pen. They've got a huge television presence with lots of commercials, advertisements out there. They're a great company. However, the policy that they're pushing is term. And just like the AARP term policy, the Colonial Pen policy goes up every five years or so on the client's premium as well. Uh, another one to watch out for is Mutual of Omaha. There's a Mutual of Omaha policy out there that is being sold through the mail, and it's a modified policy, you know, which means the same thing. There's a couple of years wait before there's full coverage. You know, once again, that's not a great idea for somebody who's healthy. They're just buying it because it came to them in the mail, and they've heard Mutual of Omaha, hey, I'm going to get good coverage. Not always the case. Another one we can take a look at is Globe Life. Now this policy um, is going to be a term policy. Almost in every situation of Globe that I've ever seen is a term policy. And each one of the Globe policies down in the bottom, a great way to tell is in down in the bottom right corner of the paperwork, it's going to have a series of numbers. And there's going to be a, a slash, like a forward slash, and then a two-digit number or a three-digit number. That, that number that's after the forward slash signifies at what age that the policy is going to terminate. Um, so if it says forward slash 60 or 70 or 80, 90 or 100, and they have all of those out there, um, that's the age that the client will be when their policy ends. So that's a quick way, and then, you know, if you have the whole policy, you can look at it and, and find that in the policy, or that's just an easy way to tell. Uh, most of your clients are going to be happy to know that um, if you inform them of that, because most of them are thinking that they have a whole life policy that's going to that's gonna be with them forever. They're very shocked to find out that they'll pay all that money into it, and then at age 80 or age 70, the policy just flat out cancels on them with no cash value or anything. Uh, it's, another one that's out there is a lot that we see is Physicians Mutual and Physicians Life. Now, if this is one that's bought through a mailer like the Mutual of Omaha, it's going to be a modified policy with a two-year wait as well. So it's just real important for you as the agent to understand these different types of policies that are out there and to be able to educate your clients on them at the same time. Many times these policies are purchased without the assistance of an agent. They're purchased over the phone or through the mail. Um, and, and the people just really don't understand what they're getting. It's your job to identify these and, and, and help them. Now we have a couple of tools here on the website that are going to help you um, with a few of these different policies, like the AARP. We have uh, PDF downloads of both types of policies that they offer. These are the brochures that get mailed out, the information packet that comes out explaining how the policies work. It's the same 
it's the same information that your client received when they signed up for the plan, so they'll be familiar with looking at it. They probably just didn't read it or didn't understand everything that was in it. You can take these PDFs, carry them with you, and when you run into a client that has a AARP uh, burial insurance or final expense policy, you can fi figure out which one of the two that they have and show them exactly how it works. And once you've explained it to them, they're gonna um, they're gonna be happy that you did, and and more than likely they're gonna ask you ask you if you have a policy that you can sell them that that would uh, give them a better benefit, that or it's not gonna end, or the premiums aren't gonna go up. The other one that we have for you is Colonial Pen. So you know, take these downloads, print them out, study them, put them in your briefcase, or put them in your presentation binder, whatever it is that you have when you go out to visit with people, and just keep them there. One day you're going to need them. You're going to be happy that you have them. Um, they're, they're great tools. Now, as part of understanding and knowing about your competition, it doesn't do you any good if you're not sharing this information with your clients. So when you're in the field and you're in an appointment and they tell you that they have a policy with another carrier, you have to get them to get that policy and show it to you so you can walk through with them how their policy works. And one way that I have found that, that uh, makes this a very easy transition is once they tell you that they have a policy and who it's with and how much, always find out how much they're paying, who it's with, and what their face amount is. And once they've given you all that information, I would always ask them if they would do me a favor. Mary, do you mind doing me a favor? No, sure. What, what would you like? You know, it's been a long time since I've seen a policy from you know, Mutual of Omaha or, or one of these, whoever her plan is with. And it's my job to stay, keep people, you know, to stay up to date in this field. Um, I, I, it'd be great if I could just kind of see your policy so I can kind of understand exactly what they're offering right now. And we'll take a look at it and we'll make sure that it's the right coverage for you. Nine times out of 10, the client's going to get up and go get the policy for you. Um, and, and sometimes they'll say, well, it's locked away under the store, you know, in the storage bin upstairs under the bed or something. Oh, that's okay, Mary. I'll wait. Go ahead. Go grab it. I, I've, I've got some time. Go ahead and go get it. That's okay. And, you know, they'll, they'll go get it. But it's very important that once you do get it, you open the policy up and you, you read through it. You look for things like, is this a modified plan? Is this a term policy? Are the premiums locked in? Or are they going to go up? Plenty of information for you to look for that's going to help you um, determine whether or not that that policy is right for your client or not. Well, that's it for this training. Thanks for joining. We look forward to seeing you on the next training video or audio. Have a great day, and as always, great selling.